New Relic is the largest technology employer in Portland, and I think that really gives us a lot of responsibility. And so we want to make sure that we are making the entire city of Portland more diverse. Over 50% of the hires that we make um, are from underrepresented populations. This company is really making an effort to show that all voices should be heard and they're putting their money where their mouth is. Software engineers are stereotypically cis white males. So yes, we could very well create a great product with that demographic, but why would we? We're trying to be innovative. We're trying to really disrupt this industry. When I came to interview here, and I saw queer people all over the place. I saw people who were just out in trans with the trans colors, and that was really heartening for me. And it's always felt like a very safe space. I had transitioned at my previous job, and I had noticed that people stopped responding to my emails. People stopped including me in things. My experience at New Relic is completely the opposite. I see people come and sit down next to me over in our cafeteria area. And there's not ever anything that's weird, which is completely different from my experience outside of the building, actually. And in fact, the biggest difference between me and the rest of the employees here is that I have a big family, like I have three kids, and no one has three kids here. It's not the fact that I'm queer <laughs> that's different. It's the fact that I can't go to the after party because I have to take care of my three-year-old, you know? And so that feels really good. It feels normal. I came to New Relic originally presenting female and knew that at that time that whatever company I would go to, that, that, that I would transition at that company. And so not only did I need a place that was going to be a good place to work, but I needed a place that was going to be good to transition at as well. Being very scared, I waited at least six months before I even told my manager told anyone. And my manager's first response was, congrats, this is great, okay, awesome. <laughs> and then kind of talked about what would be the best way that I would feel comfortable in kind of letting everyone else know. But it was wonderful. I got to my desk and there was a new name card that had my new name on it. And then there was this card on my desk that was signed by everyone on my team, by my manager and by one of our VPs. So this was my, my boss's boss that were just like, congratulations, we're so happy not only that you're here, but that you've decided to share yourself with us. Getting that card from them made me feel welcomed and supported. About a year ago, Basic Rights Oregon came and did a training for us. There's a lot of words that people that aren't on the trans side don't really know about. And the training gave people those words and allowed them to really be able to understand. And then the other thing that I thought it did really well was that it gave people concrete things that they could do in their day to day to be able to be supportive. We have a huge advantage in partnering with Basic Rights Oregon to provide us with particular tools that we can use to hold ourselves accountable in who we hire, the type of policies and legislation we support so that we can make sure that we're investing time and money into the right things. I distinctly remember in the interview with a VP, one of the things that she told me was that they had a, a women's group here, and I just knew that meant that this is a group of people that were conscious and supportive of one another. So there are a lot of employee resource groups at New Relic. There's Rainbow Relics for LGBTQ people. There are resource groups for people of color and uh, women at New Relic, specifically to help underrepresented people actually do well at their job. I've never felt like I really had to hide who I am. We really want to make sure that we can create the most diverse workforce that we can. It's not just about hiring more people of color and differently abled people and differently gendered people. It's about making sure that everyone we hire actually has a voice, is incorporated, and becomes a part of this new culture that we're trying to create.